His quiet neighborhood was shaken up last week after police say a 10-year-old boy killed his mother. Fritch described the family as average. They just asked me how I'm doing and stuff like that. According to a criminal complaint, the boy originally told police he accidentally shot his mom when he was twirling the gun. But the next day, the family called police with serious concerns. They say the boy told his aunt he was actually aiming the gun at his mother. According to detectives, the boy said he got the gun because he was mad at his mom for waking him up at 6 in the morning and that she would not allow him to order a virtual reality headset from Amazon. Police say the boy told them he got the gun by taking his mom's keys to the gun safe. He says he took up a shooting stance and that he wanted to shoot the wall to scare her, but she walked in front of him. Family told the police the boy had, quote, rage issues all his life and at four years old picked up a puppy by its tail and swung it around until it whined in pain. The criminal complaint the complaint states that six months ago, the 10-year-old filled a balloon with flammable liquid and set it on fire, which caused a sectional and carpet in their home to catch fire. A sibling told police the 10-year-old was meeting with a therapist who gave him a concerning diagnosis that led his mother to place cameras inside their home. The cameras were unplugged two weeks ago. A family member told police, quote, they felt bad for not stepping in earlier because they knew that eventually something bad was going to happen. This morning, we asked Mayor Kevlar Johnson about the charges the 10-year-old is facing. Anytime there's violence that happens uh, in Milwaukee, whether it's committed by somebody who's 10 years old or much older than that, uh, that gives me pause. I don't want to see anybody hurt or lose their lives uh, in the city. In this particular case, uh, I don't have uh, the details just yet. This is something that is just coming to my attention uh, just this morning.